So I am walking through the airport right now. I'm on my way to my gate. I am going to Columbus for the weekend to visit some college buddies. Kind of feel weird being on this, on the north terminal of DTW because I fly out of McLemore, only McLemore, so this is kind of new. This is my first time using my benefits and flying standby, so we're gonna kind of see how this goes. I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to see what's going on. When these group of friends get together, it's gonna be some foolishness. So. We'll just see about that. I keep forgetting that United only has two gates in DTW. That's probably why I never fly with United through DTW because I always have to have a connecting flight. Now I like connecting flights. And I'm only going to Columbus from Detroit. That's not a long flight, but this is all I can get right now. I'm kind of looking forward to it though because I haven't flown on a United plane or rode on a United plane in so long. So hopefully, I, th I haven't been on a United plane since when I went to training. So, hmm. Bring back so many memories. Feels like it was years ago, but it was only a couple of months since training. Everything happens so fast. Hmm. But yeah, my forehead, forehead is on slow, like whoa, like really whoa. But at least my skin looks good though, minus the bags under the eyes. Just got on my flight, I'm still boarding. I get a window seat, which I'm not happy for, because I don't like the aisle at all. I like to watch the plane take off the land. Hopefully this flight goes by smoothly. I have like two hours or so until I have to catch my connected flight. Yeah, so hopefully this ride goes by smoothly. So I made it to Chicago. I have been legit walking for the last 20 minutes for my gate. This airport is really big. I have never been to the O'Hare airport. I've always been to Chicago Midway. And this place is big, but it's gorgeous nonetheless. So hopefully I'll find my gate as soon as I grab some food. I am starving. So there's a lot of nice restaurants and stuff that I've seen. And I'm going to get very upset if I get to my gate and there's no good restaurants. Because I will turn my fat self around and go all the way back to get some food. So I'm going to find my gate and I'll catch up with you guys later. Forehead is definitely shiny. I definitely don't have any eyebrows. I definitely need to flat out my leave out. I am definitely ugly right now. I definitely have bags under my eyes. Like, look, look, look. So cute though. At least I think so. I told you guys I'm going to get better at this whole makeup thing so I can look like some of the beautiful people on YouTube that I see but it's not working out for me right now because I have very sensitive skin and plus I think I'm gorgeous anyway minus the bags but you guys hey I'm going to look good for you guys because yeah I definitely need a little something yeah no. just thought I'd let y'all know that but I am here waiting for my flight. Probably gonna go find the crew room and take a nap because I don't have to leave until two and it's like 11.40 and yeah, I'm tired. I just got finished eating and I'm just sitting here criticizing my five head right now. Yeah, it's big. Y'all always wonder why I had like bangs or something over my face. Once I fleek my hair later on, y'all gonna see half this about to be covered. This thing is huge. We're working with a monument right here. Okay. <laughs> I am on my flight to Columbus finally. We're still boarding right now, but it uh, shouldn't be long before takeoff. Probably about another 20 minutes or so. I am gonna take a nap because I am really tired. We gotta take a nap to be, you know, as lit as we gonna be tonight. <laughs> so I'll catch up with you guys when I land. 
made it to Columbus. <sighs> that was like the perfect little nap that I took on the plane. Um, I feel refreshed now. Um, trying to navigate through this busy airport. It's very busy today. But then again, it's a Friday and a lot of people fly on a Friday. So, but now I'm going to meet up with one of my dogs. And we're about to get this weekend started. Look normal. <laughs> Alright. We got that intense Uno game popping off. I was going to stop. <laughs> Flamingos and little piggies. Is that that's not a flamingo? Mm -hmm. Yes, a flamingo. Oh, nice. Got all the protection you need right here with the condom dress. Yeah, baby. Look good in all your protection. No kids this way. Okay, so if you guys are ever in Columbus, you need to visit Miss Melanin Beauty Supply Store and Salon. It is black owned. It is bomb as fuck. I just went in there. I didn't get any footage because, you know, I didn't want to be rude. But it is super bomb. They have everything that you want. The service was bomb as fuck. And the people are really, really nice. And they have everything that you can think of in that store. I'm definitely going to come back next time and get some video footage of everything in a store with the, the people's permission, of course. But I'm definitely keeping you guys posted because that's fine. And why I wanted to plug that store, well, one of the main reasons was this right here, baby. This is an edge brush. And my black girls know why this is so important. I live in Detroit and I have yet to see one. And Detroit is like the hair, like a hair capital. And we ain't got this. Like this is about to come in handy when it comes to snatching all these little baby hairs. Or, or in my case, the beady beads. Okay. <laughs> Chicago airport. So 
out here and I am waiting for my flight to go back to Detroit. Um, I'm crossing my fingers because the flight is like overbooked by one person and I'm on standby so I'm like hopefully I can get on that. I don't want to be stranded all night. This weekend was pretty fun. I didn't really get too much footage the last night because, yeah, nobody wants to see the amount of foolery that I was telling myself doing on the dance floor, okay? I'm just going to say all that trouble. Um, but I am hoping that I can get on this flight because I miss my bed. I miss my man, okay? I really one. <laughs> I miss my man. So... Everything goes as planned. I will catch you guys in the next one. If things don't go as planned, I will come back and give you an update. So, peace. so we're still at the airport, and the flight that I'm supposed to be on is boarding now. Um, it's completely booked, but it doesn't seem like everybody that's on the flight is actually here at the gate at the moment. Group one is welcome to board. But the one thing that makes me nervous is that there's eight people on the standby list. And I'm like seven or six out of those eight. And so if something does happen and I can get on, it'll have to be a miracle. But I'm keeping my fingers crossed because I need to get home tonight. So there has to be like an angel on my side. I got on the flight because I was the only person on the standby list that actually showed up. And the flight didn't completely sell out like it would. Well, it did, but a lot of the people didn't show up. So I am headed back to Detroit now. I'm so happy because I didn't want to have to wait until the morning. And of course, I have an airport reserve tomorrow. So yeah. So I'm headed back to Detroit and I'm gonna go to sleep. So I'll catch up with you guys in the next one.